Hey, how is going? Today I will show you how to install the mouse toggle app to your Amazon Fire TV stick. So what this app does, it actually allows you to use a mouse cursor on your Fire TV stick, which is a must on some applications, especially if you're going to watch some media apps or use the web browser. So yeah, it definitely comes in handy and it's actually really easy to set up. First of all, you have to get an app called Downloader. There is a really high chance that you already have it in your device. If that's the case, then just skip to the next part of the video. But if you don't have the loader yet, or you're not sure how to properly set it up, then watch this part of the video as well. So to get a downloader, all you have to do is go to search and start typing downloader here. As you can see, it already popped out here for me at the bottom. If it didn't in your case, then just type in the whole name of the app, which is once again loader. Click on it. And here's the app which you need to download. But after you downloaded the app, it's not actually ready to use yet. We still have to set it up by going to settings, then go to My Fire TV. Here we'll have to go to developer options, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then we'll go to install unknown apps, and make sure to enable that option for the loader. But also, if you're using a newer device, like a new Fire Stick or a new Fire Cube, there's a chance that developer options are going to be hidden by default on your device. If that's the case, do not worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and then click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times. And do it fast. Let's do it. As you can see, for me, at the bottom, it says no need, you are already a developer. And in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you just go back a bit, you will finally see developer options. So we open them. Once again, make sure to enable ATB debugging, then go to install unknown apps and turn that option on for the loader. So what it does, it actually allows us to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily from the official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do now. And then there's one more thing which I really recommend doing before actually accessing the loader. To be transparent, it's not mandatory, but I really recommend doing it. It's of course connecting to a VPN. There is a lot of different VPNs out there, but I do recommend NordVPN because they're fast. They got a great app for Fire Sticks and other devices as well, such as your mobile phones, your laptop, PC, or any other device. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. So what a VPN does, it hides all the things that you do online. So your landlord or your internet provider will not be able to tell what apps, what websites you're accessing online. And that really comes in handy. NordVPN is also great for blocking apps, blocking malware, especially when loading files and accessing geo-blocked content. So if some content is not available in your country, you can just open VPN, connect to a different location and you will be able to access that content now. So if you want to get a VPN, you can use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below this video. If you use my link, you'll get one month of NordVPN totally for free, which is a great deal. Once again, using a VPN is not mandatory, but it's a big plus if you don't want your internet provider or your landlord to know what you're doing. After we got a VPN set up, we are safe to use a loader. So open the app, select home on the left side menu. And here you'll notice a search bar in which we have to type a code which is going to be 28907. So once again, 28907 and press and go. Then a website is going to load and you'll have to click on that little magnifying glass over here. Then a search bar once again is going to appear and here you just need to type toggle. So just type in toggle and press on next. If nothing actually happens, then you click on the back button and click on that button with the arrow here. Then a new page is going to open. You have to scroll down a bit until you see the download mouse toggle page. Click on view page. Now here is a new page opening for us, which we'll also have to scroll down. And you gotta keep scrolling until you see those download options. So as you can see, there is a download option for Fire Stick 4K. Then a bit lower, there is an option for Fire TV Cube, Fire TV Stick HD, Fire TV Stick Lite, and Fire TV Stick second generation, and also the Android TV version. So choose the one which corresponds to your device. Then you click on download, then install in the right bottom corner. And after that, before actually clicking open, we'll have to press on done. And here we'll have to delete the installation file of the application because we don't really need it anymore, but clogs the memory of your Fire TV Stick device. So 
as always, delete the installation files after you download the apps. Click on delete and delete here. Now the mouse toggle app is going to appear among your applications. Open it. Mark the always allow from this computer. Then press OK. And here you see some settings. So of course enable the mouse service. And I do always recommend using the auto start on device startup, which means the app is going to be always running. So you won't have to open up the app again and again after actually turning on your fire stick. And then to make the mouse toggle appear, you have to double click the play button. So just double click it and it's going to appear somewhere on the screen. And to stop using the mouse toggle also double click on the play button. If in any case you are unable to actually turn on the mouse toggle, there is one thing you should try. Just go to settings, my fire TV, developer options and turn off the ADB debugging, then turn it on again. Usually that helps. And if the mouse toggle wasn't working for you previously, after turning off and turning on the ADB debugging, it's gonna be work just fine. So yeah, here it is. There are actually some more controls to it. So here I open Daily Mail, for example. Let's say you wanna scroll the page down, then you just click on the fast forward button right here. As you can see, it scrolls down. And if then you want to scroll the page up, you just click on that menu button. So yeah, it's simple as that. That's how you can set up a mouse toggle on your Amazon Fire Stick.